I have been meaning to speak with you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and... <sighs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. All right. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Point. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. <sighs> Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him. Whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabilinant, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your okay, father so was also an animagus, I take it. He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Okay. Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He, and my mother, raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so too. So, how is your mother doing? What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him, as do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way, but that does not mean that she likes it. So basically, <laughs> good seers are sometimes correct, which is like, Pretty fun, funny thing with the Harry Potter that, uh, like this one, one seer in a in a books that she was like once right about Harry Potter. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my, that is a good question. In theory, yes, although he would worry as my mother does. But I think he, of all people, would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. But this feels like, um, first Harry Potter movie slash book. So I wonder if they are going to make more DLCs for this game and even even second game about Wizarding World because there's lots of stories you could actually tell about Wizarding World. 
not such uh, stuff that, that that has been centering around Hogwarts. Like other ma magical schools, French had one, one and Americans had one, and every country has some some kind of institution for that. And stuff is much much more fun with, without Voldemort being around because he was he wasn't really interesting bad guy to be frank. Shall Professor we? Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lord Gok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. Well, I want to hear more of this. And in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Okay, this is classical Harry Potter. <laughs> How do you feel? <coughs> Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from <laughs> Professor Black. <laughs> Apparently he's not a good uh... Now to find the headmaster's house elf. Headmaster.
Do you have a moment, Professor? Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp, places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Really? Why can't we talk about potions here? Seems fine to me. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> <coughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. <laughs> <laughs> now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. <laughs> when I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Uh, I... Simply mourn for the future of the wizarding world. <laughs> if you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. I heard the headmaster approaching. Gareth! Uh, uh, Mr. Weasley! What are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor, yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago, muttering on about your, um, Sterling graces, sir. Nah. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. Bah! I... That's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. <laughs> On your way, Mr. Weasley. Small trolling. Well, there's one for my diary. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. Opposite Professor Black. How are you, sir? Mr. Gaunt. Where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you, you I am it. quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Stand proud, purebloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. Professor, a word? Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... We could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... <laughs> you are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? 
Very well, I will, and with pleasure. <laughs> and I spotted Scorp in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. <laughs> what did we do to deserve the hell is it? Greetings! I mean, out of my way, children. Master, and he's coming this way. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Nonverbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> Sp speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Something seems a little off with the headmaster. Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. Professor, uh. I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. I realize that, and I'd like to keep it that way. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. What? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... Well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that one. <laughs> that ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Scrope's as hard a worker as any house elf. Scrope! Oh, oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Mm, black family motto. I wonder what it is. Um, Uh, I don't think they have been raining, and strength might be it, but, but they are pretty much Slytherin family, so it's, m my guess is it's in the property it's of blood. pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. Close enough. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, 
Yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Uh. Ahem! The Polyjuice potion's wearing off. I'd best get out of sight. Made it just in time. It's wearing off. <coughs> this time. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Aloha, Mora. Okay, we are at the rafters of this great hall. Revelio. Rebellion. Fire up. Of course, head headmaster's office is, is top of the castle level three okay ah these must be the professors aloha mora rooms
the gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Lumos. Lumos. I don't know where that is. So, um, let's continue the mission. Toujours pure. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Revelio. Sleeping portraits. Alohomora. <laughs> that, there's the hat. Rebellion. Okay, now, now it's it actually staying here. I think in the, in the Harry Potter books it, it was uh, the different. It's good place. to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this uh, been thanks for the following active all this time. So we are currently the rummaging through the headmaster office here. Okay, we knew that he's a wax guy. That must be the pedestal. Suspicious. So I, I don't have a third level of Homer, so I can't actually open that particular lock. But let's continue with the mission. Uh, yeah. Streamlabs is, is pretty strict on those long messages, so so please, please uh, start with the shorter messages, please. Yeah. Because, because too many people are trying to sell something or promote something. So, so, please, please be... Where am 
mind. But then again, it's, it's Professor only 30, Fitzgerald, 30 seconds. Can you hear me? Oh, we I are inside here. the picture. Or In the this book. place, you may call me leave. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Okay. through here just casually I should have run when I could I'd be free by now so what is this place this is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. I need to time this just right. Uh, now I understand why, why they updated the speed of, uh, I see a staircase straight ahead okay but uh, ghost here is yeah he's moving now we go so last update they actually improved the sneaking speed They won't be able to find me if I go up there. Gone for now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Turned into Metal Gear Solid. Come on. Go, 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 go. Nothing this way, no danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. That doorway looks like the only safe way. Close tight. 
No way but forward, I suppose. Thank you. I think I managed. Turns around, I need to follow. How's my chance? That's the way forward. up to Harry Potter they can't see me at all I can get closer to them this is the way forward finally free now where are you Neve? run death thus far but have yet to find me keep searching but this time you will be unable to hide okay wield the wand you see before you do not squander its extraordinary power Fear the sound effect, but I wonder. Okay, now what? Rebellion. battle.
that's that's uh, that's not enough to look the hole. I don't see my spells at the right corner behind me here, but but they are still there, apparently. Oh, this looks like a boss arena. Yep, and that looks like a boss. Defender! 
Descendo. To both of Descendo. Defendo. Bombarda. Depulsa. Defendo. Depulsa. Defendo. Descendo. Depulsa. Protego. Stone. This must be for me. Philosopher Stone. Maybe. Sure likes it. Pretty, pretty much similar. You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. I can't believe she's dead. Dear sweet Neve. Let us always honor her memory. May her memory be a treasure to us forever. So how did she die? Wait, she died. And we have one professor who was obsessed about. You found fighting, me, fighting dead. but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. So basically, the those um, people in picture are, are not real things. But there is no light without shadow, as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Okay. So Remember just... that as you witness my memory. So what's so secret in her memory? Amazing what, what you, you can do with the shaders. Was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. 
Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. I saw again. what I did for my father. Bonia, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. In. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. So was she f one of the first Death Eaters? Might be. I mean, sure. That would actually, actually explain something. And that ties in to the goblins, their silver. repositories that they actually made and she's collecting the essence of the people their pain but what if she's actually finding the magic as well short, short of you we all get uh, power from our our uh, Pain. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. Greenweiler. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. Okay. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bacar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald. Without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the okay. Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, 
I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. <laughs> All right. Pete's garage. 